Many of the best folkloric tales feature mysterious mountains, some of which were inspired by real mountains that are surrounded by mystery. From ancient stories like those to modern murder cases, here are 10 unsolved mountain mysteries. In northern Canada is the Valley of Headless Men. It's in a largely unmapped area, which can only be accessed by plane. The local natives have long believed in a mysterious group of warriors. The warriors are said to possess weapons able to destroy entire villages. As a warning to others, they would decapitate the corpses of their enemies. That may just sound like a silly old tale, but several people have been found there with their heads missing. Willie and Frank McLeod were found dead there in 1908, both without their heads. Martin Jorgensen was found without his head in 1917, and many more were found in the coming decades. And despite the danger, people still go there looking for gold. In Mongolia, there is a 240 square kilometer area which is highly restricted. You can only enter the area with the permission of local authorities. For most of recorded history, the only people allowed to enter were an elite group of warriors called the Darkad. They would kill anyone who tried to enter without permission. The area is mostly mountainous and covered in thick forest. Legend tells that the tomb of Genghis Khan is somewhere in these mountains. And that's why the Darkad guard the area. Their ancestors were instructed to when Genghis Khan died. It's unknown what's inside the area. Only recently have archaeologists been given access. Mount Lycaon is said to be the birthplace of Zeus. In ancient Greece, young people would often be sacrificed to the gods. One legend tells of a young boy taken up Mount Lycaon. He was sacrificed to Zeus along with some animals. His flesh was then cooked and eaten by his killers. This transformed them into wolves for the next nine years. That's an outlandish tale, but there might be some truth to it. An ancient skeleton of a young boy was recently found on the mountain. It's thought he was sacrificed. Mount Everest was first climbed in 1953, but some think it was successfully climbed before that by a man called George Mallory. His frozen corpse was found on Mount Everest in 1999. He died there in 1924. He wasn't at the top, but some wonder if he was on his way back down. It remains the biggest mystery of Mount Everest. Was George Mallory the first to reach the top? In 1988, three dead bodies were found at Signal Mountain in Chattanooga, Tennessee. The men were murdered by gunshots while on private property. The property owner immediately became the biggest suspect. He was found guilty and convicted of their murders, but there was no actual evidence that he killed them, and a lack of motive. He had interacted with the men shortly before their murder. He wrote about this in his diary, but the diary entry mentions no violence or bad confrontations. With lack of evidence or motive, many wonder if he really did kill them. Treasure Mountain is in the middle of Colorado. It was named after a legend surrounding its history. The story goes like this. In the 18th century, Emperor Napoleon sent an expedition to explore new areas of North America. While in Colorado, they discovered a fortune worth in gold. Not long after, they were met by hostility from local natives. They had no choice but run for their lives so they buried the gold for safekeeping. Only one man got away from the natives. He told that the gold is at Treasure Mountain. Despite his detailed descriptions, no one has ever found the gold. It could still be there. Ben McDewey is not a person. It's Britain's second biggest mountain. It's said that a mysterious human-like creature lives on the mountain. 
People are warned not to climb alone, as the Grey Man of Ben McDewey will stalk you. Unlike humans, it's covered in thick grey hair and is much taller than us. Get far enough during a stormy day and the Grey Man will try and kill you. The story goes back to the early 20th century, when mountaineering clubs were exploring as many peaks as possible. It's basically just a Scottish Yeti and many people believe in it. Does the Grey Man of Ben McDewey exist? Now we look to a Welsh mountain called Cadir Berwyn. In 1974, local residents felt tremors and heard a loud noise. Looking outside, they saw what has since been called a flying saucer. It was a bright orange light in the sky which could have been all kinds of things. Some believe it was an alien craft. The tremors have since been explained as part of an earthquake. The light has been explained as a meteorite. It was just a big coincidence, such an incredible coincidence, that many people don't believe the official story. This image is from the investigation into the mysterious deaths of nine people. On the 2nd of February, 1959, they set up camp. During the night, they tore through their tents and ran out into the snow, as if something was chasing them. Their dead bodies were found not far from the camp. Some of the men had their skulls crushed, and one woman had her tongue removed. The authorities have never been able to determine what happened, but some people think they were killed by the Yeti. In Australia's Queensland is the mysterious Black Mountain. It was known as Mountain of Death by native Australians. No plant life grows on the mountain. In folklore, Black Mountain is a place of evil. It's said that anyone who explores it during a time of heavy fog will disappear. Many stories emerged of the disappearance of police officers, travelers, farmers with their livestock, and an entire tribe of aboriginals. It soon became a legend shared by both natives and European settlers.